Hi, my name's Jackson, and throughout my life, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned to play the bass, I've mastered the art of baking, and I've become a pretty good disc golf player. But I've never learned how to make a concrete statue, and today, that is exactly what I will be doing. Todd Cooper is the owner of Twilight Gardens, a cast stone garden statuary shop that has been in business for the past 21 years. The shop is located in St. Joseph, Missouri, where he does wholesale and retail trade of his statues. My goal today is to find out what it takes to be in the statuary business. Uh, what is it you guys actually do around here? We uh, design and manufacture concrete garden statuary. Everything from uh, creating them from scratch to painting them and finishing them. <laughs> Sounds really tough. It's a lot of work. Yeah, don't know if I could do that, but we're gonna find out. I, I bet hear you can. you've got some stuff for me to do today. I have a whole day work for you. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Let's get to it. Alrighty. Well, the first thing you gotta do is mix concrete. You put some water in the mixer, two scoops of that powder, then you take the hatchet. Open a bag of concrete, dump it in, start the mixer, and get it going in with the water until it gets to the consistency we want. And try not to lose any fingers. Let's do it. Let's do it. Twilight Garden start exactly? I, uh, I actually picked up the, doing this as a hobby when I was in grade school and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. As soon as I started learning all the processes that go into it, I never stopped learning. There hasn't been a gap since that I haven't done this at some level and I decided at one point um, that I might actually be able to make a business out of it and make a living and so I literally turned a hobby into my job. So take that scoop, get a scoop of concrete, dump it right in there. Seems simple enough. Do you remember the first statue you ever made? I do. It was the statue of a fish, actually. Fish, yeah. So my parents had friends in this business, and that's where it first became a part of my life, is we visited my parents' friends, and I saw them working with these things, and I remember telling my parents, this is what I want to do. And those friends of my dad and my mom loaned us three molds, one of which was a fish, and I still have it. And it was, that was the first thing I did. What are some of the reasons that people come to buy your statues? I like to think it's because they can see the heart I put into them, the quality, the fact that they're not mass produced. Everything, every step of the way is done by hand and overseen by me and um, the guy that works for me. And we're very, very strict about the quality and the way that the end result happens. And I think that they look for that. I think they look for the individuality and the uniqueness. So this is also very hard labor, obviously. It you is. Know, what makes this all worth it to you? If I didn't love the reactions that people have and the, the um, personally the reward I get from creating it, this job wouldn't be worth doing. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's too much work to not love it and a lot of people have attempted this business and found that out very quickly. You really have to love it. Um, that is part of the payment along with actual money and it might be even a little more. So we don't have anything for you to actually take out since the stuff that you just poured won't be ready till tomorrow. But I kind of need to see how you're going to be with tools. So this is how they come apart. And we'll start working with actual statue ones on your second day. Take that. Each bolt all the way around has to come out. Think you can handle that? Seems pretty straightforward. You got it, I trust you. And that was your first mistake.
So after doing this for 21 years, do you have any great stories you like to tell? Um, there have been a lot of people that have been so happy with their items that they've cried, paid double. People have um, taken them all across the country and given them as gifts. We've got pieces in uh, almost all 50 states. Uh, we've got pieces overseas. There are actually a lot of uh, like well-known musicians that have my stuff. Loretta Lynn, the country singer, to the singer of Slipknot. Two of the gargoyles that I made ended up on MTV at Rob Zombie's house. Uh, all people in between like that. I've been lucky that they have found out about it and they've taken my things too. That's probably one of the most rewarding things is knowing that people like that have a little piece of this corner. So after being in this business for 21 years, is there something you wish you could tell your past self when you were starting? I would tell myself to enjoy the happy people and not take the people that haven't been so happy that personally because it's all gonna work out in the end. So the final step is antiquing these. After you've got the base coat done, antiquing is taking another color. In this case, they've ordered copper. And you fan it across. And what you're looking for is even, consistent, and smooth. Always helps to start by going against the grain and then going with the grain. And that's how you smooth it and make it consistent. Just get a little more paint if you need it. But if you get too much, you're gonna get big splotches. All right, now you make it look just the same. All righty. And I think that's about the time it would have taken me to do it. All righty. <laughs> Let's dry these and see what happens. So they're dry now and they're done. And you did really well for your first time out. But if I'm gonna be critical, which we have to be critical, um, you missed some spots. Didn't get it quite as consistent around the bottom and all. Uh, overall though, it looks good. All right, yeah, I can definitely see I missed a lot on the top whereas yours is more full. Still though, I have a lot of practice and you have no practice, so I have to hand it to you. You did a really nice job for your first time. Thank you. My day at Twilight Gardens had come to an end, and so I decided to look back at everything I had learned today. I had really come to appreciate the work Todd has put into his shop, and I got a small taste of what it's like to work on something that you are truly passionate about every day. Each piece is made with care and dedication to his art that you can't really find in a big department store. While I did enjoy my time working at Twilight Gardens, I don't think I'm quite cut out to continue working here. I'd like to thank Todd for showing me the ins and outs of his business that he has poured his heart into, and I'm thankful that he was patient with me as I learned what it takes to get to his skill level of statue making. It is obvious that the work that Todd does not only means something to him, but also to the community around him.